What's up everyone? My name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com. If you are brand new to trading or are curious about trading at all, I want to let you guys know about a free two-hour mentorship course that I put together with my mentor, Bao. It is available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar with limited seating every week, so please click on the link and reserve your spot before the time runs out. Also, a special bonus for all of our viewers on YouTube. So if you guys have any questions about MIC or you're curious about joining or uh, you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you. Uh, you can now text Tosh, who is one of our head mentors and head moderators at MIC, and he'll answer any questions you have about MIC. His phone number will be in the link in the description, and it'll also be right here. Thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the video. What's up, guys? It's uh, Harry Haas here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on how I study. This has been a video that has been requested a lot and uh, I've been getting messages from a lot of people asking me about you know how I study how what have I done to become more consistent uh, what videos have I watched is there a secret magic formula uh, there's really not but I just wanted to make a video that you know was requested and that I had like kind of a lot of demand for and once again I'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice even if it seems like financial advice purely for entertainment purposes and with that I'm just gonna dive right in basically what I did was I made a pie chart of like everything that I do every week uh, every you know month you know I go over my months as a whole but you know this is what I'm working on week to week what I'm doing is I'm tracking setups you know I'm reading the tape I'm watching the MIC videos I'm paying attention to the market trends journaling my trades and I also do a little bit of reverse split tracking which we'll also get into you know these are all things that you know I do throughout the week and I just thought, you know, I just I'd make a kind of like a pie chart so that you guys can understand. And I'm going to go through each of them individually so you guys can kind of see. Uh, so number one, tracking setups. The reason why I didn't want to go deep into tracking setups is because Joe has a lot of good videos on this. So if you're wondering about tracking setups, you can watch, you know, videos like these down below. Um, you know, Joe does a way better job than I could. And he also goes through, you know, a great deal of like data, system tracking, you know, patterns, like finding an entry and exit signal and I think all those are really important you know it doesn't really have to do with like my studying but it has to like we do the same sort of thing so I think that you know if you just watch these videos you can kind of get a feel for what I'm talking about so basically for like for me tracking setups whether it's like the first bounce or like uh, pre-market long which I'll probably end up doing a video on later in kind of like my video series. Um, I basically spend a lot of time tracking setups and seeing what's working in the market. You know, we can have markets where we have, uh, you know, crazy first bounces. Like I, I remember that we were in a market last March for, you know, kind of till April or May, and we were getting a first bounce every single day. Every single day, we'd see the same type of first bounce pattern, and I was able to, you know, capitalize on knowing that that pattern was hot because I was, kind of, you know, tracking setups and tracking the market trends. And that's something that I really try and work on, you know, and if you want to kind of develop your own patterns and your own setups, uh, you know, if you want to find a good entry signal for like the zombie rule, or you want to, uh, you know, go deeper in depth into like a death line setup, or, you know, shorting a certain resistance level, these are all things that you can do, you know, to kind of progress your trading career along. Uh, we have a lot of, you know, great videos on this at MIC, but, you know, if you are the type of personality kind of like I am, where if I if I want to learn a setup, like, let's say first bounce, you know, I want to reverse engineer that as much as I can, and I want to find the, you know, at entries and exit signals that work for me best, you know, rather than just kind of watching the video and going like, okay, I'm going to play this tomorrow, you know, I have the type of personality where I need to practice something, where I need to go over the data, just like this. And this is where you can kind of use Joe's videos to, you know, kind of do what you want. And, you know, you can experiment on something that you've been seeing a whole lot. And, you know, you can track and see if there's really an edge there. So, you know, that's something that I also spend a lot of time on. You know, I don't really spend as much time throughout the week on this, but I did, like, when I was first starting, I spent a great amount of time on this sort of stuff. So, um, yeah. I think tracking setups is really important. Um, journaling my trades. This has been a big factor of how I've, of you know, became consistent and, you know, how I, I kind of found my own edge. Basically, what I found, for me anyway, was that a lot of my losses were coming on me trying to long the backside of a stock. So basically what I do is I'd say, you know, oh, well, there there's a support line at, at you know, 250, you know, maybe I should go long here. 
But what was happening was that the stock was already on the back side. So we might get like a 10 cent bounce from, you know, 250, maybe to 255. But every pop would get sold into because it was on the back side. And so what I did was I, I printed out all my charts. I printed out everything. I, I was saying, you know, what am I doing that's so wrong? And what I noticed was that the majority of my wins came from stocks on the front side, stocks that hadn't made a clear top yet. And the majority of my losses came from stocks that had made a clear top and every pop was kind of getting sold. So, I mean, as a, as a short seller, you can say, okay, I'm going to wait for the top and short the pops. And as a long trader, you're going to say, I'm going to long the, you know, the uptrend. And that's what I kind of started doing was I just started trying to purely long the front side. And I wanted to, uh, if I was a short seller, I'd look to uh, short the back side after a top has been made, just like, you know, everyone does in MIC anyway. But, um, you know, it's hard when you're a long trader, because you can see these stocks rip on the backside. And you're like, Oh, I should have been in that move. I should have been in that move. But you know, nine times out of 10, when it's on the backside, you know, you're not going to gun for new highs after you know, a big death candle, or you're not going to gun for new highs when all the longs are trapped. So what I like to do now is I just like to long things that are on the front side. And when they're on the backside, I avoid and I watch the price action. And you know, that's kind of been helpful for me. So anyway, I just thought, that I just, you know, put that in my two cents, what I got out of journaling my trades. Um, unless it's like certain setups with like low float and the zombie moves, like I've talked about before in my videos. It's on the backside and you know, it's like a 30, 40 mil float, probably not gonna be the best long for you. But yeah, I wrote here, you know, keeping track of how I'm trading. Uh, that's a big part too, you know, if you're losing a lot of times on the first bounce, well, maybe the first bounce isn't really hot in this market. So, you know, there's been there's been times where, uh, you know, last summer, where we weren't getting a lot of volume in the market. And I was like, oh, you know, this could be a first bounce, this could be a first bounce. But, you know, because we weren't getting a lot of volume and because of the types of setups, you know, those setups weren't really working as much. So I just kind of eliminated them and said, okay, when this starts to work again, I'm gonna take trades on them. And, uh, you know, that's where it comes in. What setups have been working the best for me? Uh, have I been making the majority of my money on zombie reclaims? Is that a hot pattern right now? Or have I been making, you know, the majority of my money on a pre market long or a first bounce or you know, stuff like that. So I'm always journaling, you know, what am I making the most money on right now this month, last month, the month before? And uh, how can I adapt and get better? So uh, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So thanks a lot, guys. And uh, I'll see you around. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.